Games are used a lot in special needs schools. So I work in a school for people with profound and multiple learning disabilities and complex learning and disabilities and difficulties. Games can be used for cognitive and physical rehabilitation. In terms of physical rehabilitation, we use them for treating people after stroke. So our systems elicit the types of movements people have to make post-stroke, including using the Kinect and the Wiimotes. And in terms of cognitive rehabilitation, we're specifically interested in the kind of skills people with intellectual disabilities have to develop to make them as included as citizens and have um, improved their quality of life, um, promote their ability to get a job and promote their inclusion in society. An example that they would use would be um, WeFit. So they use it because it has short and very simple narratives and interactions. It has an element of peer competition and collaboration and it has a kinesthetic control. And I think games will be, I think it's the other way around, <laughs> Games classrooms will be integra integrated into games rather than the other way around. We'll have games combined with robotics and that might just be to do with how people can learn playfully with robots. So very much looking at um, the way people interact with systems, pervasive systems will be based on their the natural ways they interact with other people now via speech, mm. via gesture, and they will be combined with different technologies too to find, provide a much more seamless integration of technologies in education.